Um, it is hard. In the beginning, we tried opening offices in Philippines to grow our delivery center because we know that the the talent growth in Singapore was not fast enough for our clients. We were able to sell a lot but not deliver quickly enough. So we need a larger market with a larger talent pool. And Philippines was a bit of a challenge for us because none of the core team had any roots there. So we didn't know any languages. We didn't understand, you know, when there's a flood, the staff is basically out for a week. Practical realities on the ground we didn't know. So we decided to focus on Bangalore because some of the founders have roots there, friends and family there, and even that was very hard. Like in Singapore, registering the company took 20 minutes. In India, it took six months. And you know, we're just not prepared for realities like that. Uh, the the when people are trained in Singapore, they get a lot of things. They get what the local lingo is. They get what's on the nerve of the country. But people sitting in somebody sitting in Bangalore can't really get that. But we also realize it's not a challenge that unique to us. So a couple of things. They've got to love digital marketing. They've got to love it, breathe it. Uh, you know, we have a WhatsApp group in the company which is pinging, ponging all times and nights of the day of people sharing articles, case studies they read, some kind of story they heard. So you've got to love that. You've got to live that universe, and you've got to get excited by talking to a client about that. You've got to also, apart from this breadth of loving, be very deep in one or two areas. So our AdWords guys are the best in the field. We've got people joining us from. Much larger companies from Google, from IBM, because they are in depth and they want to apply that in depth knowledge across multiple client sets. So every AP marketer needs to have a depth area as well. Um, and then I think we look for core professionalism skills, communication, ability to deliver on time. Um, so it's a combination of what you love, what you can do, and then what you can deliver to the client. I think marketers need more fun. They need more inspiration, and they need to get happier. Like in the old internet marketing world, everybody was buying courses, everybody was going to workshops, everybody was buying books, and they were still always unhappy after learning the latest stuff. So I'm hoping we do stuff that helps them, you know, accomplish, stop for a moment, feel good before moving on to the next stage. We make sure that you know the logo is is fun and it's happy. We make sure that in our business cards, the men. They've got their own rep, and the women they've got their own rep.、Uh, we make sure that when we talk, we remember not to get lost in the details. At the end of the day, it's about somebody just absorbing a few few minutes of that and then actually implementing it. So, e-commerce is happening in very interesting ways that I didn't ex expect.、Uh, Red Mart is doing well in grocery.、Um, it's hard to say what what lies in the future ahead. I know for sure. Everything is going more digital. Things we just take for granted, like groceries, are now digital. There are physical limitations in Singapore. A lot of the things are just not that far away. So, a good branded stuff. I know for sure exactly how many minutes of a cab ride away can I go and buy branded stuff. So, I feel like that's going to be a harder market to crack.、Uh, but I think for obscure niches、uh, where availability and portfolio and you know a lot of products. That's becoming an interesting field. So when I had to buy a 4K cable for my new monitor, I looked online first before going to a store because I know the variety there. Even if it's shipping from China in three days, is going to be much better.、Uh, people looking for clothes, they're now looking for variety. So I think anywhere where there's going to be a huge portfolio of things which a single store or a series of stores can't cater to, that online is going to come in and take over, and not necessarily in a very discounted way. Um, they will still be competitive, and offline stores will drop their prices to match that. But the variety of services is why I think eBay and Amazon do well, and that will end up being the the strength of the e-commerce players here as well. We're、uh, raising funds. We're doubling down on what we're doing. We do well, and I think my goal is to, in about five years' time, touch every marketer's life in our parts of unloved Asia. Uh, in the beginning, when they're just getting into digital or they're getting ideas for their campaigns, we want to tell them stories, case studies. We want to give them tips. We want to make sure they see our videos and slide share. So there's a publishing aspect to it, which is we're pushing the whole team to do. Then there's a training aspect, which is skills training or strategy training. That whole piece, you know, the workshop you attended, we really want to ramp up. We want to get to every marketer there.、And、then for a smaller subset, the mid to large size clients. They sometimes need an implementation partner, and they need an agency. 
So for the most innovative, for the most fun sort of campaigns, we want to be there. We want to be their partner. And then finally, uh, we also want to build tools. We've got some tools that we use today. Uh, primarily based on campaigns we do, we see little gaps and we build the tool to fight it. So for the largest of clients, uh, as they scale up their campaigns and make them more predictable, more repeatable, our tools will come in handy. So the entire spectrum of whatever corporates need in the world of digital marketing, we want to focus in on, on our path of Asia and then just do a good job there and keep having fun.